Okay, it's time for our last two stages of meiosis two, and this is telophase two and cytokinesis. So in telophase two, the nuclear membranes form around the sets of chromatids, and cleavage forms between the two new cells. And cleavage just means that the cells pinch together, okay? So let's draw that, okay? So I'm gonna have cell number one, Oh, how am I going to do this? Okay. Cell number one. And cell number two. Okay. And maybe I'm going to draw my chromatids first. Okay. Let me peek and see how I did it again. Blue and yellow. Okay. So over here, I'm going to have my blue. And my yellow. And over here, I'm going to have my blue with a little bit of pink. And my yellow with a little bit of purple. So blue with a little bit of pink. And yellow with a little bit of purple. Okay, and then they each have a central mirror. Okay, so that's one set. I'm just gonna double check and make sure I did that right. Yeah, okay. And so now on this side, I'm gonna have my pink on this side and then my pink with a little bit of purple over Oh, sorry, it's blue. With a little bit of blue over here. Okay. And then my purple. With a little bit of yellow over here. Okay, and on this side, I have my whole purple one. Okay, and don't forget to add your central mirror. And now the nuclear membrane starts to form around each of these sets. Okay, so notice now this new cell that's forming is going to have two centromeres. This set has two centromeres, this set has two centromeres, and this set has two centromeres. That's exactly what we're looking for, okay? So don't forget about our centrioles. Okay, and that is the end of telophase two. So they're about to separate Okay, but not quite yet. Okay, and the last stage is cytokinesis. Here, each cell divides in two. So now we're going to have four haploid daughter cells, so 23 chromosomes. Right? All of our cells in meiosis, our sex cells, our egg and our sperm, have to have 23 chromosomes. And this is how this works. See, they're all gonna end up with just half as many as what we started with, okay? And the haploid cells now are ready for fertilization. Time to make a baby, okay? So, let's draw that carefully. Okay, we're gonna have one cell two cells, three cells, and four cells. Okay, in the top, I'm gonna have this set. So my all blue and my yellow. And in the bottom one, my blue with pink and my yellow with purple. Okay. 
and they each have a central mirror. Okay, and they'll each have a nuclear membrane. Okay, and on this side, we have this set. Okay, so now we have the pink and the purple, the pink and the purple set. And then on the bottom, we have the pink with some blue and the purple with some yellow. Remember, you notice how I'm trying to keep the one set a little bit bigger than the other set, so it's easier to tell the homologous pairs from the original homologous pairs and how they have split going through. And I add my central mirrors and finish with my little centrioles. Okay, so see the end is haploid cells, okay? Each one has two central mirrors, okay? Two chromatids, okay? If I look back at the beginning, quickly. If I look back at the beginning, okay, in, my, in prophase one, okay, we duplicated, right? We had four centromeres and eight chromatids, okay? So we had a diploid number, right? We had twice as many in the cell. We had four and we ended with two. Four and now we ended with two, okay? So we split it in half, that's what's going on. Okay, and that's the end of meiosis. Awesome.